My name is Anna Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can convert a string to an array. And if you enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe to the channel to get all the future videos about RPA and UiPath. Let's get started. So we head to a UiPath. Then we want to create a string in where we want to split it to an array. So we can call this str string. Then we will go to the values here. We could just say maybe we could split alpha, bravo, charlie, delta. And remember that they need to be in quotation marks. So like this. And so now we essentially created the string. We want to split it, so we got an array of Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta. So uh, let's uh, go up into our sequence, find an assign, drag this guy in. And now we create an array variable, so go down here and press Ctrl K. We could call this AAR. You can call it like whatever you want, but I call it an array. And then we go down to variable type here in the variables manager change the variable type to an array of t and then if for now it's strings but it could easily have been integers or booleans or whatever so uh, let's uh, choose the string and click ok then we can use the split command to split this string by the commas into an array so we will type in split then parentheses and then we will uh, control space to get our IntelliSense autocompletion and then choose the str string because that's the one we want to split. And you can see here that it even helps us. So then we put in comma and then we want to specify where we want to split it. So we can uh, type in uh, in quotation marks a comma. So that's where we want to split it. Um, so this one uh, will split it uh, by here. And we now we cannot know because we can run this and nothing really happens. We can make a debug. However, let's try to see that it actually works. So find a for each. Then we will loop through this array. So up here in the type argument, change that to string. And so this one will loop through the array here. Let me delete this. And um, here we'll just write out a right line to see that it actually works, that we get all the four names out in this array. So this one will just be item, and then we can run it and check that it actually works, that we can convert a string to, a, um, to an array. Now let's go down to output, and we can see that we wrote out alpha, bravo, delta, charlie. So that works, that was nice. Um, we could also uh, have chosen to let's say that this string was uh, by spaces or it could be whatever charlie del delta charlie bravo alpha like this then we will just be in our uh, split up here we will just have uh, instead of the comma just wrote in in a space and we can maybe we can um, try to start it again and see that it actually works so now it runs, or it runs now, and we can go to the output and we can see that it now wrote out the things again, even with the spacing. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. Bye-bye.